A controversial courtroom decision clearing the names of a missing man's once accused killers, at least for now. That's right. Our Ian Klein joins us now in the control room to break down exactly what led up to that decision. Hey, Ian. Yeah, faulty evidence forced the state attorneys general to dismiss those charges against the pair of accused of murdering and kidnapping then 19 year old Zach Malinowski in 2013. Tonight, his family tells me the decision is yet another step further away from closure. We have felt for a while that um, there was a possibility that the case might not go on. Um, and that's very disappointing and frustrating, but um, I don't think any of us are, are surprised. Malinowski's cousin Jessica Raven says after 10 years of silence, all she wants right now is the truth. Whenever we talk about having hope, there's there's different levels of things you can hope for. And I think what we've all held on to hope for for a very long time, and it's one of the only things that matters to us is that he gets to come home where he belongs and to be somewhere where his friends and family can visit him and we know where he is finally. Police arrested Christopher Brown and Javon Gibbs in 2014 on a tip from a credible witness who also pointed them to finding Zach's car in the woods near Valley Forge Road. However, with no body, prosecutors would have to prove they had reason to harm Zach, a roadblock that led them to seizing cell phone data. That evidence, though, would delay the trial, which was expected to start in 2017, after a judge granted his defense motions to suppress it. A decision authorities say gutted their case against both Gibbs and Brown. It is a tough pill to swallow, uh, but a tough appeal would to be in front of a jury where you can't mention the vast bulk of your case. The attorney general's office did file an appeal, but the Court of Appeals as well as the state Supreme Court upheld the judge's decision, giving them no other choice but to dismiss those charges. 15th Circuit Solicitor Jimmy Richardson says there is still hope as the dismissed charges give prosecutors a chance to keep the case open and bring Zach's family justice. It would have to be new evidence. It would have to be good evidence. But, you know, we just solved and convicted um, Ray Moody after 15 years. As for Zach's family, right now all they want is answers. There's, there's many several people who know exactly what happened to Zach and where he is, and they have the ability to help our family and to help him and have him finally laid to rest and be in peace in a place where he, you know, deserves to be alongside other family. And I would just implore them to do the right thing. It's never too late to do that. Our family has been suffering and waiting for 10 years to bring Zach home where we know he belongs. Now, Gibbs, he will remain behind bars despite the dismissed charges. He's actually serving a 10-year prison sentence after pleading guilty to a 2021 carjacking earlier this year. Next month, though, will mark 10 years since Zach's disappearance. Live in the control room tonight, Ian Klein, WMBF News.